1961, a Romanian engineer named Doru Todorikiu made a startling discovery in the archives of the Library of Sibiu. He found a collection of ancient documents that would come to be known as the Sibiu Manuscripts. Within these manuscripts lay detailed flight instructions and sketches of rockets, multi-stage propulsion systems, and even winged aircraft dating back to the 16th century. It was an astonishing find that sent ripples through the scientific and historical communities, challenging our understanding of early technological advancements and the origins of aerospace engineering. Leonardo da Vinci's brilliant sketches of flying machines were already known to historians, but the Sibiu manuscripts provided an even more intricate and practical approach to flight, attributed to a lesser-known figure, Conrad Hajas. Pius, an Austrian military engineer, worked under the patronage of the Transylvanian princes and wrote these groundbreaking documents between 1550 to 1570. His manuscripts detailed the construction of solid-fueled rockets, the stages of propulsion, and the use of delta-shaped stabilizers, which are similar to modern designs. Imagine almost 500 years ago someone was compiling detailed blueprints that seemed way ahead of his time. <sighs> has even theorized about the potential use of liquid rocket fuel and parachutes to ensure safe landings. This was an era when most of Europe was embroiled in wars and grappling with rudimentary gunpowder weaponry, yet here was a visionary thinking about reaching the stars. One of the most captivating aspects of the Sibio manuscripts is Hollis's dedication to the peaceful use of his rocket designs. He envisioned these technologies not for war but for advancing scientific knowledge and exploration. He advocated for a balance between military and civil applications, displaying an ethical consciousness rarely seen in the writings of the time. The sketches and instructions were precise and meticulous, indicating that Hayes had a profound understanding of the principles of aerodynamics and propulsion. His designs included multi-stage rockets, which involve a series of engines firing in succession to propel the rocket further, a concept that wouldn't become practical until the 20th century. In these manuscripts, there is also the mention of a flying ship, an early conceptualization of what we might now refer to as an aircraft or even a spacecraft. This notion of a flying ship is particularly intriguing as it predates the first successful powered flight by the Wright brothers by several centuries. The Sibiu manuscripts raise numerous questions about the flow of knowledge and the dissemination of scientific ideas across different regions and eras. How did this come by this knowledge? Was there an undocumented exchange of information between various cultures that we have yet to uncover? The discovery of the manuscripts by Doru Todorishu is also a story of perseverance. He spent years studying and deciphering the texts, all the while aware that his findings might be met with skepticism. However, the detailed nature of the drawings and the advanced understanding of rocketry documented in the manuscripts left little room for doubt. The Sibiu manuscripts don't merely represent a set of technological instructions. They offer a glimpse into the mind of a visionary whose ideas were far ahead of his time. They remind us that history is full of hidden geniuses whose contributions may not be fully recognized in their lifetimes, but whose legacy endures through their work. The existence of such advanced concepts in the 16th century forces us to reconsider the timeline of technological progress. It suggests that the seeds of modern aerospace engineering were planted much earlier than we previously thought. More importantly, it underscores the importance of preserving and studying historical documents, as they may hold the secrets to innovations that shape the future. Conrad Hayes's work is a testament to the power of human imagination and ingenuity. His manuscripts, once gathering dust in the archives, now inspire awe and wonder, reminding us that the pursuit of knowledge is a timeless endeavor. The Sibiu Manuscripts flight instructions serve as a remarkable bridge between the ancient and modern worlds of engineering, highlighting that the quest for flight and exploration has always been a part of the human spirit. As we look to the skies and beyond, we owe a debt of gratitude to pioneers like Kawas, whose visionary ideas continue to propel us forward. The discovery of the Sibiu Manuscripts is not just a historical curiosity. It is a powerful reminder that innovation often comes from the most unexpected places and that the human drive to explore and understand our world knows no bounds. Through Hayes's work, we see the enduring legacy of those whose dreams reach beyond their time, pushing the boundaries of what is possible and inspiring future generations to take flight.